here we are. It is 5.47 in the a.m. on the 23rd. I'm gonna pick up our half of a cow. These cow people be getting up early. Motherfucker, don't come. I ain't the one. Your girl stays ready. Probably should have left that cracked. Ribs. Oh, my husband's not even praying. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna make some tri tip for dinner. This is a grass fed tri tip that we grill a grill silverback. This is the old school one. I just installed the digital Wi Fi. I feel like it's really delicious. So I'm gonna go ahead and put the probe in. Right, guys we're gonna make some romanian cabbage rolls uh this is pretty much all the ingredients that you need Hey guys, welcome to how to eat, how to train, how to lift, how to be like a fat bitch that uh, is kind of strong. <laughs> Anyhow, um, just in case I forget to timestamp it, I just wanted to let y'all know there's really good cooking ASMR in here, some recipes, you know, the goods, goods. Um, so if you stay till the end, you're a damn real one. Okay, bye. Here we are. It is 5.47 in the a.m. on the 23rd. I'm gonna pick up our half of a cow. These cow people be getting up early. The Sambu shit. <laughs> I didn't sleep that good. Debo was, he's not used to the rain, so he felt like he needed an audience to go to the bathroom. So he gave me shit, I put him out by himself. He squatted. It looked like he was done. He came back to the door in him, in him, him's ready position. Him sit. But I think he was standing there waiting for me to come out once I got up. Because he looked at me like, you're not going to come out? And I was like, are you coming or what? And then he came in. So then he wanted to play. I was like, oh, hell no. We ain't doing this. You went potty. That's fine. You could stay in your crate. I go back to bed. And then he starts doing his little cry he only does when he has to go to the bathroom i was like motherfucker so i got up put shoes on put pants on grabbed a damn sweater went outside with him just to where i could see him pop his little squat drop his little load and that was enough relief for him so then we came back in the bedroom i think i started to fall asleep around one and I had left my pants on because he was acting dumb. So then, of course, I, uh, hold on, I'm trying to be observant and be here. Hearing some shit. What am I hearing? I'm hearing some dude, like, growl, but I don't see him in any of my mirrors. Oh, hell no. I don't need lights to be going off right now. Oh. oh, there's the dude. I can see him now. That ain't some shit. Can you guys see him now that the lights went off? This is some bullshit. Motherfucker, don't come. I ain't the one. Your girl stays ready. Okay? What you know about that? <laughs> oh, my goodness. Of course, uh, I was in a rush to get out the house because we were supposed to meet at 6.30 and I was like, okay, well, text me if there's any updates. And then he texts me, I'll be there at 6. And I'm like, uh, oh. in my mind, it takes 20 minutes to get down when we're meeting. But I forgot shit's different at Dark 30 around here. So I got down here in like 10, 8 minutes, some shit like that. 
So there's that. Forty nine degrees. I'm gonna tell this bitch, please raise up off these new teeth because you get none of these. All right, well, I'm gonna go. I gotta pay attention to everybody and my surroundings. This guy should be coming in like nine minutes. Okay. I'll see you when I see you. Peace. Okay, um, I just got home from getting the cow. Yes, my floors are a mess because I have, I'm doing outside stuff. My kids is a mess too, but whatever. Mind your business, mind your damn business. Um, but while I have that heavy cow in the back of my truck, it's making my front end come up a little bit and I want to check something underneath it. So I'm going to do that and then I'm going to be bringing in the cow. I'll be bringing in the cow so y'all can see. I got this totally up. Needs a blanket. A park blanket. Oh. Probably should have left that cracked. Sure, I don't dick myself out of being able to get much hair. Okay, girl. I had to change my shoes. <laughs> Wearing the wrong shoes, bitch. I'm trying to be over there bending and getting my knees under me. Big ass platforms on. The fuck was I thinking? I wasn't thinking, and that's the problem. What are you partying about, sir? This is not cause for partying. Those boxes are melting. They're disintegrating from the defrosting and the morning dew. It's a little bit much right now, a little bit much, just saying. Should I work smarter and not harder? I think it would be way more effort to get the dolly out of the garage. That box wasn't that heavy. Woo! Woo! It's right. Mommy always gets her workout. Huh? Because how are you so strong? <laughs> when I'm not lifting those dumbbells, training them arts, Woo! swimming, doing other shit. Quite a bit. All right. I was all bent over like this, and I'm gonna use the testicles on my shoulder. 
Oh, shits were so low, I couldn't get underneath them. Motherfucker. All right. This is the part where I take a break. And uh, I'm gonna take my vitamins. And then we'll get to um, and then we'll get to um, putting that shit in the freezer. And mind you, I'm clueless, so um, <laughs> I'm not the cook or the grocery shopper. So hopefully, I put it all right and can make it fit. By the way. I went from taking four of the 250s to getting just two of the 500. The 250s taste better, even though it's the same brand and everything, but they're not bad. Two of these, two of these, two of these. Oh, stop it, Wayne your muffin. I just motherfucking went back in there. Okay, I'm gonna watch a pod for a minute. Be back. Bye. Bye, bye. Okay. Um, 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 um. I'm gonna start putting this shit away. I have somebody coming in like three minutes. It's gonna be an estimate for some trees. Not like the fun, smoky kind of trees that I don't do. To get these really tall um, trees. trees. Right. Where to start? Where to start? Ribs. Ooh, my head's not in frame. <laughs> Hold up, wait a minute. It's so crazy how wide I am from the side looking <laughs> when it's in widescreen. It's crazy. It's crazy. It's crazy. All right, that's gonna have to work. I think it will. Hello. Hello. Hi, good morning, how are you? Good. <sighs> Figures, he just called to get directions. He's around the block, so let me put on a sweater and go talk to him real quick. Okay, cool. Got an estimate. They're gonna start doing that work. I don't have to go to the bank right in this moment because he's gonna go drop something off. So, let's try and get more done on this. Shall we? We shall. This is all relief. Okay. Put that way. Put the bottom. Oh, it's all nice and cold. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Those are sticks and they think they're for Devo, but I'm just going to put them with the other ones. Oh, house is ours. Sure. Ooh, yay. Pelvic bones, the best thing for dogs. Non weight bearing bones. Yeah, buddy. Some stuff I've never had before. Some cheap stuff. Cheap stuff. Still. This is for him bones. Alright, where the chair wants to slip out of my ass. Get on my ass. She's looking kind of square back there. The girl needs to get back to those donkey kicks. Ugh. Feeling like damn SpongeBob SquarePants again. That's it. Stop it, just a bit. I probably should have done this off the same because this shelf is more shallow. 
to go, but enough to go, but enough. Are we taking bets on if uh, Emlo comes to me and brings it off? <laughs> Y'all yeah, see that goodness, all them steaks right there, all them steaks and fish. Mm, beautiful, beautiful steak. Beef, flint and ribs. carne asada with the sauce because we got one of those bags and she liked it last time but oh did I check that one yeah carne asada throwing shit in places not knowing what the fuck I'd be doing Rip. okay how many more boxes to go my all's done shut up Quiet. Oh my god, I forgot to put you guys back on me. <laughs> I'm a loser. I'm a loser these days. I'm a loser. Damn it. Okay, so I have this box. This is where we're at so far. Mm -hmm. Oh, this ground beef, ground beef patties. Ground beef, ground beef patties. All liver organs, liver, heart, that kind of stuff is in those two drawers. And then we have like soup bones and other bones for deeds, pelvic bone. And then I just put this ginormous roast in there. I'll show y'all. <laughs> That's how I be doing shit. The lazy way. Okay, let me let that sit cool. Get a couple hits off my bite. Okay, girl. Oh my gosh. I normally don't listen to these people, but there's nothing else on. I'm more interested in following some subjects, but not really so much. Also, my vacuum finally gave out on me, which is the one in the back. And um, I had taken it apart to clean it. And then all of a sudden it just like started losing power. And I'm like, fuck, I love shark vacuums, they're the best. Better than Dyson, better than any of the foo foo fancy ones because they last for fucking ever. Um, but I was like, I know I've had that shit for so fucking long. Aside from that orange one, I bought that orange one for like a condo that we had temporarily, and I still have that shit in my garage. That didn't work very well. But these kind of fucking work good. But anyways, this one that I got, it was like secretly on sale at Target. If you bought it online and had it delivered, it gave you like another extra hundred dollars off. So I think like the regular price was like $4.99 and it was on sale already. And then, so I think I ended up getting it for like 
$1.99, I think. And I was like, oh, legit, that's a fuck ton of money off. And right away, this stupid handle wouldn't lock in right after I put it together. And then I noticed, too, I mean, it sucked up really well, but um, it doesn't have the LED light on the little handle part. You need that shit, man. How are you supposed to clean your shit and get in shit without that little LED light that my other one has? So as much as I hate fucking going in and returning things, I'm going to have to do that because your girl's not happy. Okay. I got to get back to work because these motherfuckers are going to need to because I'm really not into giving out checks. I would rather connect protect all my financial information at all times. Okay. Cool. Here's the, the CT. It's okay to use. They have our permission. They're passing with her, with purpose. Good boy. Yes, that's my good boy. That's my good boy. There's so many beef chucks. Okay. Yeah. Beef super bowl in the This one. Beef chuck steak. That's what it looked like anyways. These boxes be having surprises in them. Of course, it's the best constructed box with the bunch. I think the bottom is going out. Yes, it is all ground beef. I like how these came last time better. Like a little sweet tea. Put all these on one side of this. Go to have steak, that's for us. Good, good. Oh, I'm not even sure that. Motherfucker. I'm so concentrated on getting done. I have that in a present to you. That's the porterhouse. And then here's a ribeye. This is the fillet mid non. 
that goes with the Kakakula. Matte luxurious. Porterhouse. Hooray. Hooray. Put the two sweet babies up here so she knows. <laughs> We're that easy to find those motherfuckers. Okay. Can I see this is ground beef. Where's my other phone? I'll show you guys what I got my other phone. Bye. Okay, here we are. Steaks and stuff up there. Ribs and some roasts down here. Um, big roast there. These are all ground beef. Those are like chuck steaks and chuck roasts and stuff. And then these are soup bones in the back with meat on them. Some other bones, more bones. Beef oxtail, soup bones. And then we have liver. All the organs are down here in these two drawers. There's also ground beef there on top of some beef liver. There's only one package of beef liver there. These are the, these are each a half of ground beef instead of the tubes that we got last time and then we got all those patties all those patties and then there's the the lake mignon so you're gonna get the cacacola mad luxurious with the leg mignon we fake it okay there we go oh i forgot um the carne asada which is unseasoned. I don't know if that was what was meant to be ordered, but it's okay, it's okay. We can season some shit. Just gotta get everything together. All right. I guess I should look and see. Oh, he does have pens for um, dinner tonight. All right, guys, I gotta run to the bank and get these guys some money. Honey, be a beast. All right, I'm gonna make some tri-tip for dinner. This is a grass-fed tri-tip that we got from a local rancher. So, uh, I'm gonna go ahead and uh, put a binder on here. All right, so I put a quick binder on there. And we're gonna use holy cow. Holy cow seems to be like really peppery, which it's good, but I feel like it's a little too much. So I don't put a whole lot on there. A little bit more. There we go. some of this Cajun um, seasoning just a little bit we don't want it too hot Boom.
it with a little bit of salt. pretty good. more holy cow on there but I use a sifter just to kind of sift out some of that pepper um, seems to be a little much you know what I mean this way I capture most of the pepper on here but I get some of that good stuff on there so yeah. I like the product it's just a little too peppery sometimes so boom that's how you fix that but yeah it's a good product for sure so that's how I like it just not a whole lot of pepper but peppery but some of the other spice on there and then I'm gonna check my grill see if it's warmed up yet on my favorite Gorilla Grill Silverback this is the old school one I just installed the digital Wi-Fi and I freaking love this thing all right, looks like we're up to temp, so I'm going to go ahead and bring the brisket out here. The brisket is on there. It's a pretty good-sized brisket, like I said. It's a grass-fed brisket that we got locally. Um, and I feel like it's really delicious, so I'm going to go ahead and put the probe in. some parsley, some olive oil, some red wine vinegar, and some garlic, and then I gotta look up see what else I need. Alright, this is the tri-tip. I'm gonna let it rest a little bit. Hopefully it came out pretty good. We'll see. Alright, I'm going to attempt this brisket right here. It's the grass-fed brisket that we got from a local guy that does grass-fed beef. So, never really... I have attempted one brisket before a long time ago. Uh, I'm talking about 10 years ago or something, and it did not come well. It did not come out well, so hopefully this one's going to be different. Alright, this one's trimmed up pretty good. This is how it came. I just got a little bit of silver skin that was left on there off and just try to score this fat here a little bit. Um, but it's not a very big brisket. I mean, it's long, but it's not very big. And um, I think that's just because it's a grass-fed cow is what's happening here. I'm going to put a binder... What I'm going to use is this Wagyu uh, beef tallow. I'm going to put that on top of there and some spices. All right, I put the Wagyu uh, beef tallow on here. And I ain't very, I ain't put a whole lot. You, you don't really need a whole lot. Just a little bit goes a long way. I'm going to do this side. I'm going to do the other side. I'm going to show you, I don't really use a whole lot at all. This is all I use. Slap it on there. And this covers the whole brisket. Just like that. Alright, cook. 
go wash my hands. All right, for spices, I am going to use the Holy Cow. I really like this one. Oh, I know I made a tri-tip with this. I said it tends to be very peppery, so sometimes I sift it. get like a really good work on there probably with these so I'm not gonna sift it this time I don't think all right that's one side I'll flip it over to the other side what it looks like I covered both sides really well and uh, I'm gonna cook it fat side up which is definitely this side right here so we'll go ahead and go put this on the smoker it's gonna go low and slow um, until it reaches 170 then I'm gonna wrap this bad boy up all right got my silver bag going filled it up with some bear mountain pellets and then here's what she be looking like. All nicely covered. I'm just gonna let her uh, it stand there. Debo. Big dog energy. Alright, so after this, I'm gonna have to clean my grill. So I made a uh, smoked turkey in here. Then I made some smoked beef ribs. And then some tri tip. And now I'm making this brisket. So. Definitely after this one, I'm definitely gonna give it a good scrub and uh, just try, try to get rid of some of that grease there. I clean it pretty pretty well when I do, and then I just put a new um, grease can in there because the other one was full. So just let this little smoker do its thing. Uh, love this thing. I've had it for seven years. Smells bomb out here. All right, guys, we're gonna make some Romanian cabbage rolls. Uh, this is pretty much all the ingredients that you need. The only thing that's missing is the dill and parsley, but that's on its way. So you need ground beef, you need a little bit of pork. Uh, you don't need to add the pork if you don't want to. You need some bacon, that's optional but delicious. You need two onions, you need some eggs, um, you need some sauerkraut, you need some white rice, uh, some paste, and some um, tomato sauce, salt and pepper, and some paprika, and then of course you need your cabbages. So usually I boil the cabbages and that kind of takes a while, but I uh, saw a thing on TikTok where if you freeze them and thaw them, they're uh, soft and ready to go. So we'll see if that theory works. I hope it does. And so anyways, we have all of our ingredients. I'm gonna go ahead and start chopping up and sauteing the onions. And then pretty much is just putting everything together, rolling them up in the cabbages and then baking them okay all right so you're gonna need a pot or a baking dish dutch oven whatever you have i just have the soup pot and uh i like it because i could fit quite a bit in there and that's what we're gonna make them in So I saw this lady making them in the Instapot. Um, so that's an option, just putting them in the Instapot. And then after they're ready, 
just bake them in the oven for a little bit. So I'm gonna go ahead and start the oven, put it at 375, make sure there's nothing in there. to wash my pan real quick. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and chop up this onion right here. So I'm thinking about putting them in the Instapot because um, I gotta wake up early tomorrow for work and I wanna be able to eat these tonight. So we'll see. I might be putting these babies in the Instapot Instapot Somali. I'll let you guys know what's happening. All right, so we got onion. So we're going to go ahead and chop these babies up. actually love onions. My other half does not. But she doesn't mind if they're cooked. So, let's see.
light to write the light. I'm also going to make a polenta, a Romanian polenta. It's called Mama Liga. And it's actually a cornmeal porridge, I guess. It's gluten free. So that's a good thing. And I've never made it. When I was a kid, wasn't really my favorite, but I don't know. Since I'm older, my taste kind of changed. It's actually a good complement to the sarmale. It's like what people usually eat instead of bread. So you don't get full on the bread. They usually eat the mamaliga with it. I'm just going to use an onion and a half. These were pretty big. An onion and a half is plenty. These were pretty big, so I'm happy with it. And I don't want to like overwhelm it with too much onion. So the other half I'm just gonna put away and maybe eat raw. to run out of time then I'll probably put them in the instapot uh, but you know we'll see we'll see what happens if I if I feel like I have plenty of time then I'll just uh, make them regular right that's our onion we're gonna go ahead and uh, cook this down I have a pretty small kitchen here but I love it not bad at all um, and what's cool about it is we have a 
RV that I cook in a lot of the times. So it's not a big a difference from home. Um, but honestly, all you need is a little stove and a, and a little bit of, uh, you know, counter space. And that's all you need. You don't need much. All right. So we're going to let that warm up. And then um, I think I'm going to use a little bit of E. You want to use either avocado oil or ghee. Um, and I think I'm going to use a little bit of ghee. We'll see. Either or. You don't want to use olive oil. Um, because, I don't know, I was always told you shouldn't cook with olive oil. Where it gets heated. But, whatever. Put a little bit of ghee I'm going to put in there. This is like a really great winter dish to eat when it's like cold outside. I mean, you could eat it at any time, but especially in the, it's a popular like winter time. Um, we call it New Year's or Christmas dish. Okay, so I'm just gonna put a little bit of ghee in there. Ghee is really good for you, also, way better than most of the oils that are out there on the market. So if you could eat ghee, it's, it's actually really good for you. I got these cool sturdy things. I love these things. Amazing. little bit. Meanwhile, I think I'm going to go ahead and wash my rice. rice just kind of soak and wash um, just like that okay don't want this too hot you just want to saute you don't really want them to burn or anything like that I'm gonna turn on the heat Thank you. 
Yeah, so it's about 6.30. So I'm pretty sure we're going to cook these bad boys in the pot. Smells really bomb. We're gonna go ahead and put some paprika in here. Now this is gonna give, give it flavor. It's also gonna give it a nice color to the meat. I don't know the measurements, just a couple of uh, bottle squeezes, I guess. Super food. I like to put the whole can. Yeah. 
Add a little bit of water. I could go meet him out there. Okay. I'm going to send somebody out there to, to meet you. But if you just walk across the... Yeah, there's a white truck in the middle of the Okay. She's coming to meet you right now. these flavors together here boom just like that and these are pretty much made I'm just gonna let this cool off and this is gonna go on top of the meat Gonna give the meat a really nice color. Move right. that baby from the heat there. some of that water. to use a long ri uh, grain rice but I ain't got that I got sushi rice that's good enough for me okay I usually put the rice right in the meat but whatever I'm just gonna do it this way 
Myself some dill here, so I'm gonna wash this and chop it up. All right, so we're gonna save some dill. This is gonna go in the pot for flavor. This is gonna go in the meat. I just like to scrunch it up. Love the way dill smells. Boom. Alright, so we're going to put our dill right here. And then we're going to put some parsley. Um, and if you don't have fresh herbs, you could use the dried ones. But I feel like these just taste bomb. Okay. Looks like she brought me cilantro. <laughs> it's fine. I'll use dill and some parsley flakes. the meat got our parsley I mean our dill uh, she accidentally brought cilantro but I have dried parsley flakes so we'll use that we'll just uh, you know compromise Gonna use a little bit of paprika in here, and we're gonna use uh, some pepper. Alright, now 
we're going to mix it all together. I'm going to put our two eggs in here also. Two eggs. Should have picking shells in there. Just what I didn't want. All right, I think I got them all. I'm gonna go ahead and mix this together. Smell it, see if it smells seasoned. I'm gonna add some more pepper. I'm gonna add a little bit more salt. We're usually right-handed, so this is a little weird. Mix it some more. Just kind of smelling the meat to see if it smells seasoned. This is pretty well mixed. Okay. Pretty confident it's not going to be the bland.
going to trade this pot for the Insta pot because that's what we're going to make them in. Because I don't want to be I'm waiting for them to make forever. So we're good. Insta pot is really good. Okay, so these are the um, cabbages. And these have been frozen and thaw, thawed out, so uh, that was a trick I saw. Use our dill plate here for the cabbages. All right, so we're gonna cut uh, the core out. Yeah. All right, so we're just gonna kind of core these out. this extra cabbage we're gonna save okay wow this I think works pretty good all right so we're gonna chop this extra cabbage up and we're gonna put it on the bottom of the pot small cabbages some are huge but these ones are little organic ones just the middle of the cabbage kind of too small to use. So we're going to chop this up. actually tomato sauce. Boom. Pour this in. 
Pour some on the bottom. Save the rest for pouring it on top. didn't make it taste sour. Freezing it like this. sour crab on the bottom. On the bottom of the dish. That's what we're going to put our sermons on. I'm going to throw some of this leftover dill. Just like that. All right. So we're going to start rolling our sarmals. So we're going to start rolling them. So we're just going to cut these big cores off. And we'll save that for later. Freezing method is working amazingly well, really well. I don't know if that's going to be too small. That is.
She's got two left. sacrificed that got sacrificed all right one more the rest we're gonna chop up and put in between are done so now we just got to stuff them and that's it of them are going to be bigger, some smaller, but it's okay because they're all going to boil down, so it doesn't even matter. Okay, I'm just going to do like burrito style. Boom. Boom, baby, boom. Thank you. 
could do it this way too. Whatever works. Whichever way works good. Also, a trick is, if you have leftover meat, you could stuff like some tomatoes. Like if you run out of cabbage. It's going to be a big one. All right, so your first roll is done. So we're gonna put some, um, some of this on there. Okay. 
and a little bit of uh, tomato sauce in between. Continue on with the rolls. The itty bitty one. Right. It's another roll. And we're going 
going to put some sauerkraut through here. Keep going. Hold on. Wait.
Wanna go pop pot? Wanna go outside? Come on. Let's go pop pot. Pour some bacon.
We're all done, dudes. We're gonna put this in the Instapot. Um, so I've kind of crunched on time. So we still had a little bit of meat left over. I'm just gonna freeze that up. We'll use it when I make another batch. Not a whole lot of meat left over, just like a little tiny bit. Bring the Instapot over. It's okay. It's okay, boo boo. So we'll set the Instapot. Put it on pressure cook. Up my mess. All right, we'll see what happens. I'm gonna clean up my mess and we'll come back and we'll see how they turned out. Peace. All right, there we go. It's been 22 minutes. I kind of waited till it, it did its own thing but then I kind of speeded it up a little bit because I got to go to bed so this is it looks good uh, hopefully the rice is cooked so I'm just gonna take a couple of them put them in this uh, iron skillet 
and then we're just gonna put it in the broiler to just give it some color and that's that see how it is guys I took them out of the broiler this is just what we're gonna eat tonight for dinner I made some polenta I'm not sure if it came out right but anyways uh, smells delicious of course we're gonna have it with some sour cream and hopefully Hopefully it was good. It's only 22 minutes in the Instapot. But of course it takes time to cool off and all that stuff. But way better than like hours in the oven. Here we go. Let's see if it tastes bomb or not. Remember those days, those L's, I could sleep right now. I get paid, pay games, stay in peace. I'm breaking the blues over steak, I gotta eat right. You could be my peace sign. I don't need that energy around me. I just need sun, you're so cloudy. I wake up good, you're so grouchy. Please get from around me. When the truth don't work, you start telling lies. Thought you were down the ride, you weren't down the ride. Caught switching, you were picking sides. Don't blink, caught slipping like a slip and slide. I was shooting dice till I got a nosebleed. Money on the floor, can't get cold feet. Took an L, should've put it in the whole free. Lord, forgive me for my sins, don't know of me. Scary thoughts, I got scary thoughts. Lost control, now I'm taking charge. Breaking bills, friends breaking off. You could be the youngest, I'm the d, -d, -d, -d dawn Kiss the ring, nah. In the scene like GOT. Stay awake, don't sleep. Like John Snow, get RIP. Remember those days, those L's, I couldn't sleep right now. I get paid, fake games, stay in peace. I'm breaking the blues over steak, I gotta eat right. You could be my peace sign. I don't need that energy around me. I just need sun, you're so cloudy. I wake up good, you're so grouchy. Please get from around me. Just me, myself, and I, my favorite three song. Yeah. The cars I drive up by, I never lease them. No. They say if you can't beat them, then you join them. No. That's no option, I don't join, I always beat them. Yeah. I was fake, I had to find, had me. To find me. Now I'm on B, skating like I'm grinding. Like I'm grinding. L hit me, said it's all about the timing. If you want the vision, get the spinning. My mama told me trusting God is never limits. Now I'm on the scoreboard, running up the digits. I put in work, you know I'm up to get it. Early bird gets the worm and the Yankee fitted. Like, whoa, bags under my eyes, and you know. Won't complain, I'm tired, I'm on go. For that grip, ten toes till they swole. For that grip, ten toes till they swole. Remember those days, those L's, I couldn't sleep right now. I get paid, fake game, I'm staying peace. I'm breaking the blues over steak, I gotta eat right. You could be my peace sign. I don't need that energy around me. I just need sun, you're so cloudy. I wake up good, you're so grouchy. Please get from around me.